the Premier League is easily the richest league in the world. But with Manchester City and Arsenal having now been knocked out of the Champions League, questions are being asked about whether it's really the best league. Europe is dominated by what we call the Big Five Leagues. The Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A and Ligue 1. And in this video, I'm going to be figuring out which league is actually the best, in terms of which is the strongest league and which is the most entertaining. Let's start by taking a look at the quality of football in each league. The main argument against the Premier League is that their teams aren't dominant in Europe. However, I think this criticism is a bit harsh. Against Real Madrid, Manchester City went in looking like the better team. Here are some stats from the UEFA website. Manchester City had 34 total attempts compared to Real Madrid's 8. And 120 attacks compared to Real Madrid's 19. City had 88 touches in Real Madrid's box, which is more than any other team in the Champions League since 2007. Of course, Real Madrid did still win the game, and they deserved it because they defended well and they executed their game plan very effectively. But Man City approached the two legs as though they were the stronger team, and Real Madrid saw have sat back and they would have lost had it not been for some deflected goals in the first leg. What I'm trying to say here is that what happened in this year's Champions League doesn't at all define the Premier League as a weaker league than say La Liga or Bundesliga or any other league. This game was very close and City approached it like the better team. It's also worth noting that four of the last six Champions League finalists have been English. That's a far better record than any other league in Europe. But I think the best way of measuring the quality of the league is by the combined team squad values. It basically combines the squad values values of all the teams to estimate the value of the league. The Premier League is worth 11.09 billion euros according to Transfermarkt. This is more than double the value of 2nd place La Liga, 3rd place Serie A, 4th place Bundesliga and 5th place Ligue 1. And to me that roughly lines up with how well these leagues do in Europe. Although I would consider Serie A to be lower than the Bundesliga because they don't really have many big teams anymore. Last year they got two teams in the semi-finals but that's mainly because of the luck of the draw. I think the Bundesliga does do slightly better in European tournaments. However, that doesn't really take into account the quality of the teams that are lower down in their leagues. The teams that don't finish in the top spots don't get to play in Europe and so don't get to test themselves against teams from other leagues. That makes it very difficult for us to judge whether the lower teams in the Liga are better than the ones in, say, the Bundesliga. That's another area where the estimated league values are very helpful because they do take into account the lower teams. However, sometimes the value of a bigger team can make the league look like it's better than it is. But still, in terms of quality, I think Premier League is top, then La Liga, then Bundesliga, then Serie A, and then Ligue 1. But the trickier question to answer is which league is the most entertaining? Another complaint people have about the Premier League is that Man City are always winning, they have won five out of the last six, and it's a bit of a farmer's league. When you look at the closer though, Man City aren't as dominant as you might think. In almost all of their Premier League wins, one or two other teams have really pushed them to the end. Whereas in many other leagues, there's one team that just runs away with it and nobody's catching them. Bayer Leverkusen have already won the Bundesliga this season, nobody's going to be catching Inter in Serie A, and Real Madrid look very likely to win the Liga. So with its thrilling three-way title race between Man City, Liverpool and Arsenal, the Premier League has been one of the most competitive leagues this season. But to help prove which league is best, I've also taken a look at the value of the league compared to the value of the highest teams. The more competitive league is going to be the league where the bigger team takes up the smallest portion of the league's value, because that means that the gap between the biggest team and the other teams is smaller and the league's going to be more competitive. So let's look at the Premier League. Manchester City is worth 1.27 billion, which is roughly 11.5% of the overall value of the league. I'm aware that the values on transfer marks aren't actually the official values, but they are a very accurate estimate. If we take a look at La Liga, Real Madrid is worth 1 billion, Barcelona is worth almost 1 billion, and the total league value is 5 billion. That means that roughly 40% of the league's value is taken up by just two clubs. And that's 50% if you add on either Real Sociedad or Atletico Madrid. The value then drops down massively from Athletic Bilbao onwards. In a league like the Premier League, the drop-off isn't nearly as big. The 11 best teams have a higher market value than Atletico Madrid. So the Premier League is not only the wealthiest league, but also the league with the highest squad values and the smallest gap between those squad values. Between most leagues, it is very close at the top, but the drop-off is just far bigger in every league besides the Premier League. I'd say the least competitive league is easily League 1. PSG accounts for nearly a third of the league's value, and the difference between PSG and AS Monaco is absolutely huge, nearly 700 million. So it's not very competitive at all and PSG's squad is far more valuable than any other teams. The Bundesliga is similar, but it's definitely improving. Bayern Munich is still 400 million euros more valuable than Bayer Leverkusen, but with Leverkusen having just walked to the Bundesliga title, it looks like Bayern Munich's dominance is starting to collapse. 
In Syria, it's a very different story. The gaps between teams are more similar to the Premier League than to any other league, and while the teams are a lower value, they're still closer together than in the Bundesliga or in the Liga. Syria has had a different winner in each of the last four years, and for that reason, I think it is the most competitive league. It doesn't have as many big close title races, but I think it still does beat the Premier League because they've had several winners over the last few seasons. Before the season starts, it's very hard to predict who's going to win Syria, but there tends to be a team that runs away with it to towards the end of the season. I do think the battle for third place between the Bundesliga and La Liga is quite tough, but each league has a big four clubs that dominate financially and I think those four for La Liga are slightly stronger, but they only very narrowly beat the Bundesliga big four. Bayern Munich have also dominated way too much for it to be considered a really competitive league, whereas in La Liga, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico have all won in recent years. So taking that all into account, I think the overall ranking of the leagues goes like this. Fifth place is Ligue 1 because PSG dominate and the quality of football isn't really that good outside of PSG. Fourth place is the Bundesliga, which I think is improving, but Bayern Munich are still dominant. And it only has one real super team, while La Liga has two. Serie A doesn't really have any big world-class team, but for its competitiveness, it does get third place. I would say the quality of football is slightly higher in La Liga though. Maybe not so much in the teams that are lower down, but definitely at the top of the league, La Liga is the second best league in the world. But first place for me is the Premier League. It's the wealthiest league, it's got the highest squad values, and its teams do best in European competitions. It's got six or seven big teams now, compared to La Liga's three or four, so it's easily the best league. Anyway, that's it for this video, thanks for watching, click the videos on screen right now if you want to watch more, and I will see you later.